All right, thank you. Now to election 2024, President Joe Biden is insisting that he is staying in the race, pushing back on calls for him to drop out. Today, the White House press secretary says Biden understands people's concerns about his age and says it now wants to turn the page. You see from his engagement with everyday people on the ground, uh, you see him with congressional members uh, having, who are showing their support, speaking on behalf of this president while we're on the ground. House Democrats have remained largely supportive. In a letter to congressional Democrats on Monday, Biden said he is firmly committed to continuing his campaign. Now, while some U.S. House Democrats have called for Biden to step aside after his poor debate performance, that's not been the case for those representing Ohio. 10 TV's Dead Pet Cash spent the day gauging support among Ohio Democrats for President Biden. He's in studio tonight with their reaction. Duck. Well, Andrew and Angela, I reached out to several Ohio Democratic leaders to see how they feel about President Biden as their candidate. The ones I talked to are standing behind him, while Senator Sherrod Brown has not offered an opinion one way or the other. President Biden is adamant that he will continue his bid for re-election. He started a letter he sent to congressional Democrats Monday saying, I want you to know that despite all the speculation in the press and elsewhere, I am firmly committed to staying in the race, to running this race to the end, and to beating Donald Trump. He has shown himself to be a successful president. Ohio Senate Minority Leader Nikki Antonio is a presidential delegate whose vote at the August Democratic National Convention is pledged to Biden. She believes believes he is the best candidate for the Democrats. If I have to choose between an old guy who cares about this country and cares about democracy and the people in the country, then Joe Biden is my candidate. The other guy uh, is an old guy who is also a felon. The Ohio Democratic Party is also standing behind President Biden. ODP chair Liz Walters wasn't available for an interview, but sent this statement. This race is a choice between a president who wakes up every day to fight for working families in Ohio or a 34 count convicted felon whose only fight is against democracy and the rule of law. Longtime Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown has not expressed an opinion on whether President Biden should stay in the race and says he will not make any recommendations. The CBS affiliate in Youngstown asked him about it. I'm not a pundit. I've talked to people across Ohio. They have legitimate questions about whether the president should continue his campaign. And I'll keep listening to people. Senator Brown says he'll pass along what he hears. State Senator Antonio attended an event at the White House as recently as Christmas and saw President Biden in action. She believes he had a bad night at the debate. That was not the person I have seen um, make a speech, be there greeting people at the White House. Um, you know, so clearly in my mind, he had an off night. Senator Antonio also says the wheels are in motion and the president already has the majority of pledged delegates ahead of the convention, so he is the only one who can make the decision about his candidacy. In the studio, Doug Petcash, 10TV News.